Let's take a look at how to use this savings annuity and finance calculator. This first scenario that we have up here says that we deposit $1,000 each quarter into an account earning 2% interest and we want to know how much we'll have in the account after 15 years. So the key word here is that we deposit $1,000 each quarter. So this means we're making periodic or multiple deposits into an account. So we'd be using the savings annuity calculator because we're building money up. We're starting from zero and we're going up. And what we want to find is the future value. So we want to find how much is in the account in the future. So to use the calculator, we just enter in the different values for each of the variables. So for the first one, it's payment or deposit amount, which is $1,000. And then next is the interest rate. Always enter it as a decimal. So 2% interest rate will be written as 0.02. And the number of annual payments or deposits, that's how many times you are depositing the money. In this case, it's each quarter. So that's four because there's four quarters in a year. And then the time that we will be making these deposits is over 15 years. So we hit 15 and then we hit enter or just click off the screen. And we end up with $69,770.03 in the account. And another scenario is we have a goal of having $300,000 in an account for retirement in 20 years. The account earns 8% interest. So a question we could be asking is how much do we need to deposit in the account each month? So this is still a situation where we're building money up, we're saving up money. So this is still under the savings annuity calculator, but we're not solving for future value. We have the future value, that's 300,000. So what we want to solve for is we want to solve for the payment or the deposit amount. And we just enter in the values that we do have. So we do have the $300,000 is the future values, 300,000. And then the interest rate in this case is 8%, enter as a decimal 0 0.08. The number of annual payments, we said we want to make the payments each month. So there are 12 months in a year, so that is 12 times in a year. And then the amount of time that we're going to be making these deposits is over 20 years. So we enter 20 for the time and to enter, or click off the screen and the payment or deposit amount is $509.32 each month. And then next, we have a situation where you can afford a $1,350 per month mortgage payment and you found a 30 year loan at 7% interest. And you want to figure out how big of a loan can you afford? What's the biggest loan that you can take out? So in this situation, we have a mortgage, we have loans that we're trying to pay off. And so this is, we're looking at money is already in an account or we already have money owed and we're reducing that balance. So it's no longer savings annuity because we're not building up the balance. It's now a payout annuity or a loans calculator. And so what we wanna figure out is, are we solving for the present value or the loan amount? Or are we solving for our payment or withdrawal amount? And in this case, we're trying to see how big of a loan we can afford. So we're solving for the loan amount. So that's the present value. And in this case, the payment or deposit is the 1,350. And the interest rate, that is 7% interest. So that is 0 0.07 as a decimal. And then the number of annual withdrawals or payments is 12 because we're doing it per month. And so we would enter 12 here because there's 12 months in a year. And the amount of time or the number of years is over 30 years. So the loan amount that we can afford is $202,915.22. And then in this last situation, you wanna buy a $27,000 car. The company is offering a 5% interest rate for 36 months, which is three years. We wanna figure out what our monthly payment will be. So we're getting a loan on a car so this is still the payout or loans situation calculator and we want to see are we looking for the present value loan amount or are we looking for the withdrawal or payment amount in this case we are looking for what our monthly payments will be because we already have that we're going to be taking a twenty seven thousand dollar loan out so here we fill in all the values that we have, just like the other ones, the initial value or the loan amount is the 27,000. The interest rate is a 5% interest rate, so 0 0.05 as a decimal. 
the number of annual withdrawals or payments. We're going to be doing monthly payments. So again, that is 12. And then the amount of time or the number of years is three years. So we hit enter and we get that the withdrawal or payment amount is $809.21.